Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the 23rd March of a Godly Blessing over here, where God wants us to become bodiless. And that can only happen when we are quiet in our mind. We are not thinking thoughts of this body and things related to this body. And we have the knowledge of spirituality and the knowledge of the Supreme Being, our original home, and about the complete drama, which helps us to become a detached observer of this drama. So let's explore what does Godfather have to say in the blessings heading. Baba says, may you be bodiless and claim a certificate of passing with honors with your detached stage. Now this is Brahma Kumaris is a godly spiritual university where the marks are given by the Supreme Being himself. And the marks are here for becoming bodiless. In simple terms, this university teaches us how to attain liberation in life. It's a godly university. So the explanation goes like this. In order to claim a certificate of passing with honors, you have to practice having the stage of being an embodiment of peace. If you have thoughts of this world, of why, when, what, where, then the more we have these thoughts, the more we are heavier in our mind and we are down on this earth. That means the magnetic gravitation pull is more. The lesser we have thoughts of this world, the more we have thoughts of the Supreme Being, His abode, His qualities and the way He has created the drama, which helps us to negate all the negative thinking, all the heavy thoughts, that knowledge. Then we become more lighter and lighter and the gravitation pull of this world is reduced. So then Godfather says, you have to practice having the stage of embodiment of being an embodiment of peace, of staying beyond sound. <clears throat> this world is a world of sound because you can hear me. And there's a world which is known as the Brahma Lok or the Supreme Godfatherly Abode or the soul world which is beyond sound because we don't have any of the five elements. So there's no world of sound over there. So we have to practice being in that world in Param Dham or in the Muslim Dham they call it alam e arwa or they call it as Brahma Lok or Nirvan Dham in Buddhism. A Dham or a place where there is no Vani or there is no sound. Of staying beyond sound with both your mouth and your mind. So we might be talking over here, holy things, but if our mind is connected to the Supreme Being, then it is in silence. It is not talking about gross things in details or not feeling when they are talking about gross things. And the mouth is also talking less and the mind is also thinking less. That makes us become lighter and more peaceful. So let the soul be merged in the ocean of peace. Who is the ocean of peace over here? As you must be knowing. Supreme God, Father is the ocean of peace over here. And when we are merged in His love, in His remembrance, automatically our thoughts are less and our mouth speaks less. This experience of sweet silence is very lovely. So our Supreme Abode or Param Dham, where we souls have come from, when we meditate on that world, which is beyond this world, it is also known as the sweet silence home. So for both body and mind receive rest in this stage when we are thinking about the supreme abode so in our meditation we practice to be in the supreme abode with our thoughts for as long as possible one single thought about this world our body consciousness comes in and we are brought down in meditation and then again we have to recreate thoughts of the world beyond with the supreme being talk to him about our life and then we become lighter so at the end it will be this practice of being bodiless that will be useful. Whatever games your body plays, just observe the part your body plays. What games over here the body plays means that you might have body aches, you might have headaches, you might have physical ailments, diseases, organ issues. So the body is playing issues over here. The body is something which we have attained through the five elemental world, the earth. We are not this body. We have to leave this body over here. Now, obviously, if the five elements are not clean, then the body will have diseases. So the body is going to act. The body is going to play up. So just observe the part of your body and the way it plays while being bodiless and detached. But if we are concerned that, oh, I am sick or my body is sick, then obviously there is an attachment. And God says, then the words which come out of your mouth are 
sad words, the thoughts which you create in your mind are weak thoughts and they make you not lighter in your mind but heavier. So this stage will make you victorious by the end. Now how do you practice this stage? What is that world which we are talking about over here constantly? How to remember that world where we all souls have come from is what we learn in the seven day course in Brahma Kumaris which you too can come and also do in your own city. Do it in that course and with this Om Shanti.